Okay, so as a, another practice for us, or a demonstration um, for how to turn something like this, a isometric view, into um, three separate um, orthographic views, one for the front, which in this drawing would be everything that's dark, uh, one for the top, which would be everything that's white, and one for the right side, which is everything that's that lighter gray color. Um, we're going to turn this into three separate views and then dimension it, put uh, the appropriate measurements on it. I have included probably way more measurements than you would, um, probably some repeats in there, some unnecessary ones, but so when you do yours, you do not have to include every, possibly won't have to include all these. In fact, when I go to dimension it, it'll probably be a little different than what you see here. But we'll see how that works out. Each person could dimension it a little bit differently and still do it right. To give you a frame of reference, the object that we're doing is this one. So as you see here, this is the same view that we had in the picture a second ago. And our goal is to do a front. Well, we'll start, actually, we'll probably start with the top. So this is the top. This piece here, this L-shaped is the top. And this points towards the top. And when we do that, it will look like this. All right, our drawing should look like this. This rectangle this L shape, and then a rectangle over here. And then when we go and do the front, it should look like this. This rectangle, and this goofy looking L shape here. And then finally, we will do the right side over here, and that will look like this. So it'll just be a series, all this whole drawing will just be a series of L shapes and rectangles. This one will just be three rectangles stacked on each other. So let's start with that top view. Let's take a look here. So we look at the top view. We are going to see those different shapes. Now what I'm asking for on this is that we, let's do every block on your graph paper as two inches. So take a look here. First thing we're going to draw, I think, is this. So we'll draw this piece of the top, and that's going to be a 8 inch by 6 inch rectangle. So on our paper, in the upper left hand corner, remembering that each block is going to be 2 inches, I'm going to start up here, somewhere in that upper corner, and I'm going to draw that 6 by 8 that we just talked about. So 2, 4, 6, I believe was down. Let's take a look. So if I'm looking at it, yeah, I'm going to look at it from the top. This is going to be down, and this is going to be to the right when I look at it from the top. So 6 by 8 that way. So 6 this way, and then 2, 4, 6, 8 that way. I'll make my lines nice and dark, but as straight as I can. Probably would use a ruler if I wasn't um, trying to teach this and show more. But that's not too bad. And then, around that, we have to draw this L shape. So in other words, another rectangle, really, that goes 8 inches all the way out, if you want to look at it like that. Or you can just look at it as, I'm going to extend 2 inches here, and then go, let's see, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 inches this way, and then 2, 4, 6, 8. 8 inches this way and 2. So it's going to look something like 2 inches down all the way over to here and then all the way back to here. And that would constitute this piece right here that we would see from above. And the only other thing you would see from above is this rectangle down here. It would be attached to the right, so to speak, over here. So we're going to go, let's see, four inches out from there and all the way across or down to the entire shape, so like so. Just like that. And now what we've done is we have, we are looking at the top of this should match what we have on our paper right now. This rectangle, this L shape, and then that rectangle off to the right. 
Now we're going to go and try to do the front of this. So what we're going to do is extend lines. Let's go back to our original here. There we go. What I want you to do is to lightly extend, lightly now, because we're going to erase them later, is every one of these lines that run this way, so this, 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 and this, I want you to just lightly extend them all the way to the bottom of the page. I'll have to do a little darker so you can see them, but in your case, you wouldn't have to do them really dark. But anything that's going up and down, just extend it. to the bottom of the page. And that way, w the drawing of the front will line up with the drawing for the top. And that's important when we start dimensioning this. So let's see, when we go to draw the, the front of this, well, what's the overall height? I got this 14 inches, but then I go up another four for this little bump at the top. So really that's 18 inches from top to bottom. And since this is set back, you really won't be able to tell that this isn't up front. So we're going to go 18 inches tall. So we need to make, uh, let's leave as much space as we can. So if I start, say, here, we want to leave as much space in between as we can. But I think we'll be all right. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So this would be the 18 inches total for the entire height of this thing, from this corner all the way up to the very highest point. But of course, we're going to see this side kind of separately. So that would occur four inches down and go for two, four, six, eight inches over. So let's put that rectangle in there. So starting at this corner, we're going to go down two, four inches and we're going to go over eight. Oh, look, see how this line helps us know where to go. That would be the front side of this rectangle, of that box that sits on the top. And then I'm going to take this all the way over. The bottom comes all the way over. Because if you look, that bottom edge does in fact come all the way over here. And then we go up two, and how far back do we go? Well, I don't even need to count the inches. Oh, let me make that bigger so you can see a little better. There you go. Sorry about that. So I don't even need to count the inches. I go up two, and I can go back until I hit this line, because that line tells me how far to go. And then I'm going to go up until I get to here. And then over. And that should be the shape. And I'll erase these lines I drew a moment ago. And take the time to get rid of them so they don't confuse the issue later. Not bad. Here's this one down here. And there we go. So, so we now have our top and our front. And now we're going to do our right-hand side. So we'll start with this. First, I'm going to take every line that moves left to right on this front drawing and extend it lightly all the way across. So there's really going to be one, two, this one, three, and this one, four. So I'm going to extend four lines in this case over there. Now once again, I'm going to have to do them darker than you probably will just so that you can see them on the video. And that's not super neat, but it'll work. And then I'm also going to extend, believe it or not, 
the left to right lines here, so this one, this one, and this one, over and down so that I can map out my object. So that's why this 45 degree line here is helpful. I go over, say for example for this bottom, I'll extend that all the way over until I hit that line. And then from wherever it hits, I go straight down. Make that a little darker. Well, I'll do the same thing for this line. I'll extend it over. So it hits the line, and then I'll extend it down. And we'll do the same for this line all the way at the back here. It's here, and we'll go all the way down. Now, this sh series of lines, somewhere in there, is our shape. Now, let's take a look and see what it, try to picture in our heads what it might look like. Well, if I look at the front, hmm, so what I should see is rectangle all the way across the bottom and a big rectangle here and this rectangle is got a piece missing so to speak so this little section right here has nothing in it so let's see if we can find that section on our drawing so if i go back here make this bigger this time and so in this little grid that i've created over here where's that piece that's missing well you guessed it it's right here so this actually is not going to be anything the rest of it will be something. This will be part of it. In fact, this is that top rectangle that we saw. And then we go over, down, and over. So that's the outer shape of this. Then remember, this is that bottom rectangle here that we said we saw all the way across. So this line isn't needed. It was only there to help us see where this was. But down here it doesn't mean anything, and down in here it doesn't mean anything. And that should be that. Uh, let's draw this line here to see that too, because that's going to delineate the top of this. All right, and now we have our three views, our top, our front, and our right. And we'll erase these other ones. these extension lines that no longer mean much and can only clutter things up so we'll get rid of them Oops, that'll help. All right, so most of them gone. We can start dimensioning now. We can start putting in measurements. So I go back and we look at this. Now, the good news is, is with our scale, knowing that if we've done it right now, we know that our scale is one block equals two inches. We really, if we've done it right, we really don't need these numbers, but we can double check ourselves. So let's see. Let's see if we can find a way to dimension this thing clearly. I'm thinking let's do a let's do a chain of measurements here. Let's say let's start with the overall width mm -hmm. and then we'll give this width and this one and we won't have to give this space here. So let's start Draw an extension line all the way up here, and one that runs all the way up here, showing a, showing the person that we're talking about this distance here to here. I wouldn't want to do it here. I could do it here. 
that's not a bad way to go. Um, in fact, you know what? Let's do that. Let's put it up on that other drawing. I think that's perfectly legal. And that way we don't have to draw this really long extension line, which might get in the way of some other measurements we need to give. So let's do that. On this one, let's do, I think that's 14 inches all the way across. We can double check here. Draw an arrow like that. An arrow like this. So these are extension lines. This line and this line. These are dimension lines, and this is the dimension. Let's just double check. 2, 4, 6, 8, 12, 14, uh, hold on. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Got it. Now, let's give these pieces here. So let's go from here to here. Now notice, I'm giving this dimension on the part of the drawing that shows the contour of that. So that would, this would make the most sense to put it here, and that's 2, 4, 6, 8. So 8 inches from here to there. And let's give this little measurement here. I'm going to do that with, I think, a double line, double arrow in there, and I'll put 2 inches up here, showing that this distance right here is 2 inches. And I don't need to give, this is 4 inches, because I've given the overall and then these two pieces. Now, let's see what else we can dimension here. Well, we should probably give the overall thickness here as well. So let's go and do that right here. We'll go here, and that's going to be 2, 4, 6, 8 inches. And notice that matches up with the 8 inches all the way across here. All right. And let's see. Let's do this dimension right here. That's going to be 6 inches. Kind of ugly dimension arrows, but that's all right. We'll work with it. So that's 6 inches. I don't need, I know this is 2 inches, but I don't need to give it, because if I've given 8 inches up here, and this is 6, then you're, the person's supposed to know this, this should be 2. Let's see, let's dimension, let's dimension the entire height of this thing now, and we'll get these dimensions in here. Um, and we can do that in either place, but let's see, let's go, let's go here, and give the entire height of this thing. So it's going to be 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. 18 inches from top to bottom. And we can give some pieces now. Let's do this as 2 inches. Do one of those double arrows and put the dimension out here. 2 inches, and let's give this as, let's see, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 12 inches. And then I don't need to give this, because if the overall is 18, and I got 2 and, and 12, that means this has to be 4 inches, and so I don't need to, to give that. So let's give a quick scan to see if there's anything we are not including. I know this is 2, I know this is 2 based on this, I think, um, and I know this is 4 because I give 14 all the way across and then 8 and 2, so that leaves 4 here, so I think this is dimensioned properly. Notice all the dimensions are between views, either here, here, in here, or in here. That's technically between views, and I think that's pretty good. Remember, yours can look a little bit different and still be just fine.